So today is an incredible day for us because we're bringing together a group of our major donors who have been the first to contribute to our capital campaign to hear about the progress we're making on this amazing campaign. First and foremost, let's talk about this campaign, $45 million campaign. And today we have raised 37 million toward our $45 million campaign. And that's you. That's you and your other colleagues in this work. And so the building campaign is 33 million, and then we have a $12 million piece of the campaign, which is for innovation and expansion. So how are we doing with our expansion? In the last two years, we scaled our new location in San Jose. We've added two career training programs in San Jose, the medical assistant and IT program. We've added a culinary arts program in Mountain View. We have launched a new economic advancement center. So that's another location for job training. And this week we were funded by the County of San Mateo to add another location in North Fair Oaks. In the last two years, we have grown substantially and we've barely just begun on that expansion. Just today, I had a routine visit over at Palo Alto Medical Foundation. The doctor's assistant was there, and so I said, you know, where did you start with your medical work? She said, job train. I said, yay! <laughs> That's one of the many things that job train has been so fabulous with. The building itself, we're making some really good progress. We did receive unanimous support from the East Palo Alto Planning Commission to go forward with the project, so we, we made it through that hurdle. The 50 acres overall, what we're calling is the East Palo Alto waterfront, is going to be a mixed-use development that is going to bring job creation, attainable housing, environmental innovation in concert with the Bay. It is that next step of bringing job training to the community, of making possibilities for economic growth for community members. The building that's going to stand here now, the new building, is going to lift people to a higher level, I think, than they ever have before in the history of the organization. We have ambitions and talents, and we need partners like Job Train to help us actualize ourselves in our full potential. So I'll just close by saying thank you for being here. You are part of an extraordinary future. So here we are on the brink of a new day for Job Train formerly OICW, and I can hardly wait to read the next chapter.